5.10 in the morning. Today is a good day because <laughs> Melissa Hello. and I will be going out to Machu Picchu, one of the seven wonders of the world. But today we're gonna to be going to Machu Picchu and the mountain adjacent next to it, Machu Picchu. I don't think I'm saying it right, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Can't wait. In the meantime, we're having some breakfast before we head out there. I heard it's gonna be a bit of a crazy hike, so time to carb up. Now that we are full of carbs, we are ready to walk down to the bus stop where they're going to take us 30 minutes into Machu Picchu to the entrance. There we'll meet up with a tour guide and then we'll walk around with them. <laughs> Come join us on an adventure to Machu Picchu. Okay, so the first bus leaves to Machu Picchu at 5.30. It's about 5.30 right now. Look at all the people in line. But fortunately, bus leaves every 10, 15 minutes, so. About 20 minutes later, we're moving up, finally. But, uh, still got a bit to go. Where, where should we sit? Let's go in the back. Oh, shit. Well, after about 30 minutes waiting in line, finally made it on the bus. One weird thing about Peru though, is that on like trains and planes and stuff, they require us to wear two masks. I'm like, what is this nonsense? It's so dumb and they actually enforce it too. It's weird, but you know, hey, what do I know? I'm not a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> to get to Machu Picchu, you have to go to Agua Calientes, right? That's like the city closest to Machu Picchu. Then you can take the bus that goes up there. But you don't have to take a bus to go to Machu Picchu. You can actually walk it, but it's like an hour and a half extra, I think. The time duration, I think it's an hour and a half. But you, have to have, you have to walk and it's very steep. Or you just take the bus and then you're gonna do all the walking in Machu Picchu. And we're jet lagged. So and we're gonna take the bus. <laughs> yes, and we're jet lagged and I don't feel like walking too much. We got off the bus about 30 minutes ago and still waiting in line, but almost made it to the front. It's 6.30 in the morning. Look how much people there are here. And this is like, still, I guess we're still in a pandemic. I wonder what it's like before the pandemic. All right, so we just passed through like the ticket office. So far, so good. I don't know if they're okay with us recording with GoPro. He said something about the GoPro, but I'm like, eh, what the hell? <coughs> oh my goodness. Look at this view. Look at that sunrise. All right. So far, we're two minutes into the ascent. We're taking in the views. How are you feeling so far? I'm feeling great. If I'm not mistaken, I think the rainy season is like from November to March. So I got very lucky. Right now, it's like we're approaching the end of April. Unfortunately, my friend Chris, what's up Chris? I had to come in February where he said it was raining and stuff, so sucks for you, bro. So we're here at a fork in the road. That's what we have to top platform. There's a lower platform, yeah. doesn't sound appeasing. And we have top platform. All right, to the top. Oh, look at this thing. My friends back here. <laughs> it looks even more majestic because the sun is still coming up. Bruh. Whoa. This is like perfect weather conditions today. It's sunny, it's not cold at all. In fact, I took off my jacket because some people say it can be very windy up here. And the funniest thing about this is that they say you need to have a tour guide to go through this. They literally don't even check anything. We are just walking around without a tour guide, but you know, whatever. <laughs> So what's your impression of Machu Picchu so far? It's amazing. Uh, the weather is actually like could not be better today. Um, literally, I 
Could not. I mean, this is amazing. Yeah. I'm speechless. What do you have to say to my friend Chris who came during the rainy weather? Um, come during a better time of the year. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. I had to, man. I hope you watch this video. Oh my goodness. I just realized we're going to be down there very soon. Whoa. It's beautiful. Yep. I, yeah. One of those things where it actually looks better than the photos. Can you believe that the Incans built this? in 1400s and 1500s like what the heck and then this was only recently discovered in like the 1900s and it was by accident too like these Incas how did they do this it's incredible what my family had to come here so bad because it's been insane it's like it's so nice to like I want other people to experience it. I know, this is this is just, I'm speechless. Speechless. Dan and Shay. Yes, Melissa <laughs> has her moments. She's having one of their, her weird moments right now. <laughs> Damn. This is one of those moments where I'm like blessed. I feel privileged to be here like a lot of people don't have the privilege to travel and I do recognize that so I'm happy to be here taking advantage of the fact that I can travel and just enjoying the moment okay, this thing just keeps on going by the way how high are we right now? Señor, ¿cuántos pies estamos en el cielo ahora? Pies o metros? Metro 2500. 2500. Oh. Metros. 2500 meters. 2500 meters is. Uh, creo que. You can look at the. Alrededor de 90 mil pies. Yes. Yeah, we're pretty high and I don't feel a single thing of altitude sickness, so I think we're good. Gracias. How does it feel to be walking in the middle of an Inca city? It's incredible. I just wish they had a toilet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they have toilets back there, apparently. There's no know. toilets here. <laughs> there's no assigned tour guides, even though they told us you can't go in without a tour guide. Oh, gosh. A little bit of chaos, but it's actually kind of cool just roaming around by yourself because we're kind of lost. <laughs> We just left Machu Picchu, we're about to go up Huchu Picchu, the mountain. We want to go this one. This is the one that everyone talks about because it's like very steep, very good view. Take someone out months in advance. So if you guys want to do this one, reserve the tickets four or five months ahead of time. We're in a Picchu. We want to go, but they're watching us right now. So we're not going to be able to go down that path. But anyways, we're going to go up Huchu Picchu. This one's like super like easy, still a nice view. Let's go. All right, heading up towards Huchu Picchu. Freaking sick view. So far we've only walked like a minute up and already the views are promising and that right there is Machu Picchu. Oh, Como están señores? Si, tra trabajan aquí en todos los días? Oh man, Dios. Nunca han tenido mal de altura? No, no. No? Acá no? Los peruanos son diferentes. Que bueno, disfruten. So update. I may have talked too much trash about the weather because I had to, you know, go skins and everything. <laughs> but we're almost there. We just passed the hike. We said there's like a minute more. So right now we're just going to take in the view. Okay, so how was the walk up uh, Huichu Picchu, huh? It wasn't that bad. Well, <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Yeah, it was like maybe 10 minutes. Uh, but hey, look around. I'll show you guys the view. Good part that we're skipping to. <laughs> Is it? We're on our way down. They did ask me to put a shirt on because I was being indecent or whatever without a shirt, but it's all good. Anyways, Machu Picchu was an incredible experience. It actually exceeded my expectations. The other two things I can think of off the top of my head that did that was the pyramids of Egypt and the Bolivian salt flats. 
So I can add a third one to the list, Machu Picchu. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.